Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm a senior member of technical staff here at Salesforce. Today, I'm going to be walking you through some interview top tips for our hacker rank technical assessment. My first tip today is don't panic. Sounds easy, but it's very easy to get overwhelmed by a big wall of text and the clock that's staring you in the face. So, Make sure you take a second to breathe and then read the entire question and all of the test cases that are provided for it before you start writing in the code. Pull out keywords that describe the input and the output. As someone who gets super anxious, like this, this tip applies to me, I think, the most. I always want to start coding immediately because I know I don't have enough time, so I'll skip sections of reading and get confused later on. So make sure to read everything and write down some notes of keywords. Second tip is don't worry about writing bad code, at least at first. We know that fully formed code never just appears out of nowhere. We know it's gonna take a few iterations and you're not gonna be penalized for testing code that doesn't work or even code that doesn't compile. Make sure to run your code against the test cases so that when you hit submit, you're confident. Plus, you can submit as many times as you would like. So even if you submit an answer to a question that you know isn't that great because you don't have time, and then you realize that you have time later and you come back to it, you can resubmit that answer again uh, with a, a slightly better approach. And we're not going to penalize you for the previous submission. We're only going to take the last submission that, that, that you give us. Number three is to submit your own test cases. Working a couple of examples by hand is a great way to understand the question more fully before coding. HackerRank allows you to input your own test cases and it will show you how how the test cases are generated so that you can input your own data there to be sure that your code is doing exactly what you think it is. Number four is to use language reference materials. You, you may reference language documentation, but you're not allowed to look up the question itself or any variation of it. This is very helpful if you, for example, forget how to do a list comprehension in Python and you want to figure that out. You, very free, you're always free to go look at the reference materials for the language that you're working with. You're going to see both or all the questions that you're going to be tested on ahead of time. So if you read through the questions, read through all the questions first and realize that one seems to be easier than the others, you should take that one on first. That way you'll know you'll have time to work to worry about the harder ones later and you you'll know that you don't have to be as, as stressed out about, about, about this one. And if you solve one, it's going to feel pretty good. It's going to motivate you to solve the rest. Start tinkering with the easiest possible solution. I mean, even if it seems inefficient or bad, it's much better to have written something, even if it's a double forward, than being stuck or frozen, waiting for the perfect code to spring into your head. Plus, writing something bad can sometimes lead to your brain being stimulated enough to realize that there's a better approach. Take the sample test. Uh, there is a sample test that's provided in the link that we send you. Um, we're not going to look at anything you submit during the sample test. Uh, the sample test is a great way for you to learn and understand how the hacker rank interface works, um, how to the right code to answer the questions, how where the questions show up, how much time there is, how to read the timer. All these things are present in the sample test, and it's going to be just the same as taking the real test, just do some different questions. So make sure you take the sample test first to know what you're getting into before you hit start for the real test. So in conclusion, we want you to succeed as much as you want to succeed. So good luck out there.